Right. How many of you have ever looked at yourself in the mirror and ever realized that there's a specific future that you don't particularly like? And this could be your eye color, your hair, your skin tone, anything you can imagine. Come on, raise your hands. Don't be shy. <laughs> Too much self-confidence, right? <laughs> right, for the people who were brave enough to raise their hands, <sighs> sorry, guys, you can't really change the way you look like. But what if I told you there is a way to change the way your future children will look like, and the answer to that is gene editing. So here, I have a DNA extracted from a human embryo. Every single ring on this chain represents a gene responsible for a very important biological function. So I'm going to use my super gene editing skills, and I'm going to remove the gene responsible for the brown eyes, because I don't like it. And I'm going to replace it with the gene responsible for blue eyes. It's easier in the lab. <laughs> and simple as that, I've created a baby with blue eyes. But what if we could use this powerful technique to target genes that are responsible for diseases, such as HIV, leukemia, or any other type of cancer? But more importantly, we could target genes directly into the human embryos to prevent children from inheriting a specific genetic disease that's running down in the family tree. But is it safe to do that? Well, that's debatable, because in theory, it's really easy to imagine that I could simply target every single gene on this chain, but the human DNA is gigantic, like really, really big. So in principle, I might end up targeting something completely different from what I was intending to, which will definitely going to have a negative biological consequence. But don't you worry, because people around the world are working really hard to make it safer for you guys. So, would you edit the genome of your future child? Many of you might say no, especially if you try and scale the risks over the benefits. But if you consider that every year there are about 8 million children born with a genetic defect, would that change your mind? We have in our hands a very powerful tool that could change the course of human evolution. We have the choice of becoming stronger and healthier human beings. And to be honest, the majority of the scientists who are working on gene editing are trying their very best to deliver accurate and safe results so that every single one of you could make the best choices for our future generations. Choices taken entirely by you alone. Thank you.